Rick, Melissa from The Bachelor, and are you uh, with someone now? You are? Yeah. Well, that's good. <laughs> You know, because of the privacy and everything going on, we haven't really been able to explore a new relationship. But now that everything's over, I'm so excited. I've known him for two years uh -huh. and kind of have done the dating on off. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he has been my biggest rock and supporter throughout this whole process. Mm -hmm. And so he's become my best friend. And oh, there he is. Great. Oh, what's his name? His name's Ty. <laughs> oh, that's good. Ty. Ty. <laughs> so... Ty is Jason's son's name. How, I, I how weird know. that is that you're with someone named Ty. Small world, isn't yeah, it? maybe we'll have a child together named Jason. Jason, yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> and uh, and so uh, these emails that yeah. that are circulating around all over the place are these real emails? Unfortunately, they are real emails. Yeah. So he basically has been. Uh, getting in touch with you, even though you said don't get in touch with me. Well, that was actually that was right after we filmed that after the final rose, uh -huh. and you know I instigated it, and I go back and go, I wish I hadn't. Um, and for my own, I felt like I needed to apologize for getting that angry with him, but at the same time I said, I hope you know why I got that mad because we yeah. weren't talking at that point. It's right. not like I was just going to call him up. And so this was my way of saying, this is my closure. You know, I was mad, I'm sorry, but this is it. Don't, ref don't reply back. And what made you think that, uh, that he was seeing Molly during the time that you were finding out you didn't have as much in common yeah. as you had hoped? What made you think that he was actually in touch with her? I think, first, being a girl, you get that feeling. Mm -hmm. I mean, anybody who's been cheated on, you, you know. And being a woman, I got that feeling because I went, well, he just backed away from me. And... I knew he had contacted her. I knew that there had been at least one contact that I knew about where he was checking on her. And, um, and so it was just in the back of my mind where I would just casually ask, you know, are you talking to her? Have you talked to her? I mm -hmm. mean, tell me. Just be honest if mm -hmm. I'm asking you. And he said no. He kept saying no. Mm -hmm. And now do you think you'll be able to be friends with him? Do you think you are, uh, or, or Molly? No. No. Okay. No, that's fine. I yeah, mean, I can, I can no, understand that. I am, um, you know, Jason and Molly don't quite have the characteristics of someone I would want to be friends with. You mm -hmm. know, I feel like on a level they did both betray me. I understand it was a breakup, and I'm not mad about that. You know, right. we all get broken up with, but, you know, to be lied to. Yeah. And okay. Don't bring them out. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not here. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, I'm glad you're happy, yeah. and, and thank you for doing this, because I know you're not doing anything else. So yeah. that was very kind of you to come here and... and uh, I'm, I'm happy that, you know, sometimes no matter how hard it hurts, uh, it's, you, you're, you're grateful for it. And you realize Absolutely. it pushes you in a different direction, and it's always for the best, no matter how hard uh, it's, it's yeah. your heart breaks. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, it, it, wait till you hear this story, too. This was this, these people coming up, Caitlin and Reed, share their amazing engagement story after this. We'll be right back.